Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about dynamically populate values drop down in AM. You must be thinking what is new here because there's so many blogs available over dynamically population of values. So yes, there are few new things and I'm sure uh, many people don't know about it because I was not aware about it. So let's discuss this. So I'm gonna tell you two types of dynamically population. So one is dynamically population of drop down based on data source. So this is purely build over logic. The second is dynamically population of drop down based on values available statically. So it means you have already text value pairs and you are dynamically populating them. So let's start with dynamically populated drop down based on data source so here first let's talk about how traditionally people do it so the problem statement is let's suppose i have a requirement of pulling all the children pages of a route path so how to do that so i so okay let's go step by step make a drop down widget and create a data source node under it okay i already made a select widget and i make a data source node under it now add a property resource type in data source which can be mapped to paths and resource type of the servlet so this is important because uh, see sling resource type what i put should either map to this particular property or this particular property either one so and uh, one more important thing uh, it is not important that this path really exists you can put slash app slash shivani also you can put slash app slash gam also you can put anything but uh, the mapping should be correct so now next step is write a java class uh, map the two data source and write a logic to dynamically populate values so later on i will add a gist uh, here but let's see here how we can do it so the traditional way is okay maybe uh, state uh, we know okay we need to get the children of slash content slash v detail so i have a path here already i converted this path into a resource path i check if this resource path not equal to null then i convert this resource path into page i check if page not equal to null then i get all the children uh, in iterator i convert so i'm using uh, a lot of java 8 features because it is reducing my uh, i mean lines of code so i am converting this iterator into a list and then i am looping a list and uh, putting uh, page child uh, name and value so my key is value i think i put wrong i think i should do it like name and title because uh, text is something which should look author so it should be pretty nice so i am deploying my code actually i cannot directly deploy because my profile is right now not ready so i'm making a package first and then i will manually upload it in my felix console so my code is building nicely uh, the dynamically drop down is populating this is purely a traditional way so now uh, i have seen people actually i was also doing the same thing uh, for every select option uh, people used to create a different new servlet but actually this is not required we can get more control over a component and uh, multiple select can use a single service so you must be thinking how so let's discuss about those kind of problem statement where we can use this thing so uh, let's assume in a project there can be a situation where in a component a you want to pull drop down from root x and in component b you want to pull drop down from root y so right now you are seeing hero banner component in which i uh, mentioned in the java class the root path but if one day there is one more component comes up and uh, they just want any other root path so what is going to happen in that case are we going to create a different servlet for to handle that no actually this is not required so we can add one property here root path and make it like slash content slash v retail okay now what you need to do is remove it from here so let me tell you one thing if you do like this if you get a resource from a request so what comes in actually the resource is equivalent to this this so resource is 
here if you see the resource list is still here now i want to fetch this value root path in my java code so pretty easy to do that how um, i think uh, there's so many resource let me see if there is any object resource actually not okay nice now uh, i will get resource dot get child and i will add a data source okay now resource data source so now where i reached now my resource is still here now i want to get the value of root path so how to do obviously data source dot get value map dot get root path comma string dot class i'm not putting all the null checks so if you are writing your logic please take care of all these things okay path is now with me now i will pass this path here sorry i think my rest of my logic will remain same so let me deploy my code and meanwhile quickly i go through what i'm doing i'm getting this path now i'm converting it into resource path now i'm converting it into page now i'm converting page to list children okay i think rest of the code doesn't need to be touched so okay deployment is also done let me again upload my package okay pretty cool so if i refresh my component oops something wrong happened quickly go through again root path c mm. silly mistakes okay i made data source spelling wrong again i need to upload the bundle and now again refresh the page correct now if uh, another component want to see all the pages under ca so what you need to do you need to pass root path value something else and now it will populate all the pages see that's cool now next kind of problem statement for which i have seen people creating different kind of servlet is there can be a situation when in component a you want to pull list of pages but in component b p you want to be you want to pull the list of countries so now you can see that here i am pulling list of pages but maybe there is some other component which want to pull list of countries so what i can do i can add one more property saying selector so this selector is not exactly like behaving like a selector but i am making it behave like a selector so you want to know how so okay now root path okay no problem no problem no problem now uh from here first i will get value map value map each listing now i will consider it as a selector so i will make a condition if selector dot equals page listing and what i am do doing So my if condition okay. First, I let me write my logic and then I will just clean it up. So let's 
Now I will make another condition, maybe country. So my condition is if selector is equal to country list. So uh, okay, if country list, then if condition is here, I think I should put this line on the outside. So this would be same for both. And let me copy the whole logic here also. The source path not equal to null. Okay, so uh, my country hierarchy is, is here. I have already created uh, countries and I want to populate uh, all the countries under here. I'm just taking an example. So what I need to do, I don't need to convert it into page. I don't need to check resource. Uh, resource. Uh, now I will convert it like this now country now this value map dot get so I have two values also let me show you So if I get uh, this, then India has two values, text and value. So here I will add text. Let me give some another name. Value. Value. I want this. This should be text. This should be value. And now close it off. I don't want this. And my logic is ready. Let me discuss with you what I have written now. So I have created a all property selector. So I'm taking if selector is equal to page listing, then I'm uh, running the same logic. But if my selector equal to country list, then uh, I'm getting again. I made a mistake. This is the resource path. I totally still run. So what I'm trying to get, if uh, it is country listing, so I'm trying to get the uh, children of this particular resource path. I think I've written my logic already. Just you can you can later on create your own functions here so that code should look more cleaner. So let me check if I already added a selector here. Page listing. Okay, seems fine. Now let me upload my bundle now. Obviously, it will not work in one go. I always make this mistake. Select my property name is selector. Okay. This is selector here. I forgot to put. Refresh. Now you can see that uh, my page listing selector is working. Now let me change the same component for country list. So I change the selector like this and I change. Sorry. Now in the drop down country list should be visible. 
so now no need to create uh, different different uh, services for every select you can uh, accommodate as many things you can do in one service uh, one servlet and it should not mess up but it should look great thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video